The word lesbianism comes from Lesbos, a Greek island famous in ancient times, especially for the poet Sappho, who lived there in the 6th century BC. Sappho wrote poetry that expressed love and desire for women, which led to her name and that of the island being associated with attraction between women. Over time, the term lesbianism was established to describe the sexual orientation of women who are romantically or sexually attracted to other women. Thus, its origin is deeply linked to the history and literature of ancient Greece. Sappho of Lesbos Sappho is a central figure in the history of lesbianism. Her poems, which often express love and admiration for other women, have influenced the perception of female sexuality throughout the centuries. Although many of her writings have been lost, her legacy has endured and has made Lesbos associated with female homosexuality. Sappho of Lesbos Sappho is a central figure in the history of lesbianism. Her poems, which often express love and admiration for other women, have influenced the perception of female sexuality throughout the centuries. Although many of her writings have been lost, her legacy has endured and has made Lesbos associated with female homosexuality. The term, lesbian, although Sappho's poetry did not use the term itself, over time, the name of the island became an adjective that described attraction between women. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the term, lesbian, began to be used more commonly in medical, psychological, and social contexts. The term, lesbian, although Sappho's poetry did not use the term itself, over time, the name of the island became an adjective that described attraction between women. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the term, lesbian, began to be used more commonly in medical, psychological, and social contexts. Historical context. Throughout history, relationships between women have been documented, but their recognition has varied depending on the culture and time. In some societies, these relationships were accepted, while in others they were repressed. Historical context. Throughout history, relationships between women have been documented, but their recognition has varied depending on the culture and time. In some societies, these relationships were accepted, while in others they were repressed. 